Hi, I'm Dominic. Thanks for watching Dominic's Autorex. And today I'll be making... Where have I heard that before? I think Steve Ramsey once shot a video about a doormat and knocked on his own door. I wonder who's out there. Hey, Dominic, I've got a wonderful news for you. But I've seen Steve doing this in a video three years ago. Click the link to check it out. Yes, he did. So we're stealing now? No, it's a form of creativity. We're not stealing, we're borrowing. Yes, but that's still stealing. Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry. Sorry. So what I actually want to show you is this. I call them practice carpets. They are meant to be used as doormats and with the way out there, well, it's going outside a few meters, it's not actually in the house, so there's quite some dust collection on this one. And recently I visited an outdoor museum here in Bavaria. Uh, well, I'm doing a blog post for that. I'm writing on it for a few weeks now. But there was one thing that caught my woodworking eye, and that's the doormats they used. So today, I'll be making a rustic, heavy-duty doormat. It won't be pretty, nothing like the one Steve Ramsey did. One intended for, well, shop, stable, whatever. Check it out. I have set my table saw plate to 45 degrees, and the rip fence so that the blade comes out at the edge of the board as you can see here. With that cut done, I then flip over the board, move the fence over so that I cut off a triangular piece. I repeat this process till I'm no longer comfortable with using the board, or till I have enough pieces, whichever comes first. If your cuts don't meet in the right way and you don't get a proper triangle, you can still use the piece since they will plant over time anyway. With my board twice as long as the intended size of the doormat, I use my table saw sled to cut the pieces in half. I layered all my pieces to get the final length of the doormat, and keep in mind that you want a little distance between the triangles. I then use my table saw to cut the three supports from a piece of scrap. After a final layout check, I start the assembly process. There are several ways to attach the triangles to the supports. For starters, there's wood glue, there's also nails with a hammer, and a bread nailer. I don't have a bread nailer, this is a, well, it's actually something more suited for upholstery, but I wanted to give it a try. Here I'm driving the nails halfway in to make it easier to actually hold them in place and I'm using two nails per triangle which is something that won't last. I also add glue just to be on the safe side. Well I believe the best way to do it would be a proper bread nailer. The, this thing I have didn't really do the trick as you can see. I also tried using wood screws and I pre-drilled for those, but quite frankly I don't think that it's worth the investment and you're better off using a few nails. Once the whole thing is put together, I then take the center support, put some glue on it and attach it using nails. Just so I can say I used it, I'm using my smallest hammer in order to drive the nails all the way in. As a final touch, I use my Japanese saw to cut the support slats to their final size. So here we are again. Let's check this one first. That's that. Let's switch them. I even feel cleaner. I'm curious to see how long this lasts. I expect the edges to, to blunt over time, but that's about it. 
I know I'm not going to do a Wendell leap. So, thanks for watching. Hope you like this project and I realize it's rustic. It's maybe not even that pretty, but you could slap some finish on there and plane the board and sand it and so on. You might even get away with a round over on these ones. But to me it's shop furniture, it's rustic, not in the optical sense, but in the sense that it's as good as it needs to be. I'm looking forward to see how this works. And well, if you got any comments, please leave them down below. Press the thumbs up button if your conscience allows you to. Thanks for watching and remember to be inspired. What I'm carving are well, runes that are supposed to be in the concept of the piece hand carved into the steel. We also argue that they have been put there with magic, which usually solves everything. So if I don't get the lines completely. I got sawdust in my eye. That's new. Leave a cop. Leave a cop. Leave a cop. Leave a comment down below. And now for the mandatory wandle leap. <coughs> oh. Probably could sell this as a massage chair. <laughs>